as Massey gets ready to go to face off with Max Williams here, who led off this series of the division are so, so very tight. As that ball is lifted into shallow center, long run by Nelson, and he makes a play. What a catch by Nelson. And the payoff pitch from Massey. That is pulled and by King at third base and into foul ground, digging for second is Cam Smith. That was a hot shot at the hot corner. That uh, around the plate. That is hit on a line to right, right at Wene. No tag and they're two down. Ball four, runners on the corners now with two down. 23-0, and 2-2 two -two pitch, way up in the air. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Tellier back out in the right field grass under it to make the catch. Not even, I know, not even 8 o'clock. 3-1 pitch, that is hit well. In comes Ferrer, cannot make the play, so it caroms by him all the way to the wall. Williams digging out. The ball from the bottom of the fence and another leadoff double from Eric Houston. That misses ball four. You know, he had struck out three times earlier today before the home run. Pulled right at uh, Cantu, who was sitting on top of the bag. Got to give him credit. And that's guided to right and deep. Tibbs will go back, and it's out of here. A home run, opposite field shot. For Seaver King. Well, you looked at the swing and it looked like he had his head in one dugout and his backside in the other and reached for it with the bat. Got it elevated and just kept going. Second pitch of the night for Florida State last night. Ground ball, second base. Ferro goes down to get it in the first game today. Payoff pitch, look out. Shows bunt, and a great play by Armstrong off the mound, and they double off Nelson at first, and that will do it for Wake Forest here in the second inning. That is ripped down the right field line and gone to tie the game. Second home run of the series for Max Williams. And a line drive that had a lot of carry to it because he hit it very, very hard. Number seven for the center fielder, Max Williams. And again, second in the series. Third home run given up by Massey on the year. 3-1 pitch. That is ripped into left field. Williams to his right will field. Digging for second is Smith. And the throw not in time. Walked him on four pitches. This one uh, off the uh, glove of Massey, and everybody's safe. Massey quickly to work. Got him. Struck him out. That is a bomb to right and a grand slam home run. Huge shot in the arm for the Knowles. Well, you can get away with a fastball up there. You don't get away with breaking balls up there. Mistake by Massey. No mistake. On the other end. And a 5-1 to one lead for Florida State here in the third inning. A high breaking ball, and that's where they end up. Yeah, that Good was a, swing. Yeah, no doubter. To the bottom of the first inning. And that's a little flare toward left. It'll drop over the head of Lodi's at short. And, and he does. <laughs> back up the middle, back-to-back -back singles to start the Wake Forest third inning. That is hit toward left. Ferrer is back. That's just front of the warning track. Houston tags and is in there sliding at third base. Throw to first, and he's out. 
That is pulled, but right at Smith. Linus grounded out to first. In the first, that gets him right in the small of the back. Ouch. Lost him on four pitches. 0 for 1 tonight with a ground ball out. That hits him right in the head. Second Deacon hit in the inning. Now the bases are loaded. Payoff pitch, and he strikes him out. Did it hit him? Wow. Rick Street says no. Tom Walters out of the dugout. Bill Salento's coming down from the third baseline. Salento's saying ask for help. Tom Walters saying you can hear it. Now well, we're going to get a good look here. Oh, yeah, they're going to give him first base, and that gives Wake a run. Ball four, another run scores, and it's five to three. One-two pitch. He went, strikeout. Did that hit him? No. No, that's close. Easy call. Though. Yeah, ball four anyway. Easy take. Yeah. The 2-1 pitch. That is popped up, shallow center. Who wants it? That's going to be Williams to make the catch. 3-2 pitch on the ground and by Tellier into right center. That's pretty well hit, snuffed out by Houston to second for the out. What a play. Huge. 3 1 pitch, lost it. Ball four, walks the bases loaded. One for two tonight. That's a little squibber uh, to first, throw to the plate, gets by Gill. A run will score, and now the Knowles with a second run. And now a three-run lead. Don't know if he got hit by the ball or a runner on the way by. Training staff is going to come out. Runner goes from first. The throw down. Plenty of time for the out. And they're two away. Yeah, I think Gill's okay. 2-2 two -two pitch. Got him. That's high and deep into the night. <laughs> Seven to five. A couple of things come to mind real quick. First, Wake Forest has blown a couple of opportunities in other innings for runs. And then the other thing that comes to mind is Jake Reinish hasn't made a lot of contact this weekend. But when he has, it's gone a long way. That hit him. Another Deacon hit by a pitch. 1-1. One, one. Hit well. Back goes Ferrer. Gone. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ties the game up. First home run for Gill. Struck him out all the way back to the screen. Five pitch walk, two on. Well hit up the middle. Great defensive play for the out at the back. What a play by Ferro. So Ferro draws the walk. Runner goes on the pitch. Well, it was three and two. That short hops by Gill all the way to the screen. Runners advance 90 feet. Four pitch walk, bases loaded, still nobody out. Chop it at first, that will be fair. Kurtz will get one, a run will score. And Florida State takes the lead here in the eighth inning, eight to seven. 0-2 pitch. Delay call, strike three. 
Second out, Dingus is hot. He didn't like it. Technology says it's a strike. So there's that. Nope, base is loaded. That is popped up, shallow right field. Tellier about five strides out there in the grass for the out, and that'll do it. Not close. Lead off walk for Wake in the eighth inning. Rips that one into right field for a base hit. Stopping at second is Houston. That is a, a wild pitch that's uh, by west of the screen in the runner's advance. Ground ball uh, to the right side of the infield. Run will score to tie the game. Kurtz retired on the throw from Faroe. Struck him out. Wow. Base hit off the uh, mitt of Cantu. Run scores. And Wake has the lead now, 9-8 to eight here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's Seaver King. Big swing deep to right center field. Williams is back. Cannot make the catch, and it's a double. And two outs. And that hit him. By an inch or two over the wall a moment ago, the double. And uh, Nelson looks at call strike three. That is high and deep to right and gone to tie the game here in the ninth inning. <laughs> Little bit of everything at the couch. Second home run of the night for Cantu. First home run of the season for Cole Rowland. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Struck him out. But Cantu solo home run. Walked him on four pitches. Payoff pitch. Ball four. That is a wild pitch all the way to the screen. 2-2 Two -two pitch, another wild pitch. Here comes Gill to win it. And Wake Forest wins the series two games to one. Wild pitch seems an appropriate way to win this baseball game because there was a lot of wildness going on during the entire affair. So it's a terrific series win for Wake Forest. Three excellent baseball games, a, a great series.